Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, still in chapter 7, Chemical Bonding. And this is 7.1, Valence Electron and Lewis Structure, part 2. In this particular video, we're going to focus on the formation of covalent bond using Lewis dot symbol and also draw the Lewis structure of covalent species with single, double and triple bonds. So as a recap, covalent bond is formed by sharing of electron between nonmetals. So we're going to focus on sharing of electron to form covalent bond. Sharing of electron between nonmetals atom is done to achieve octet configuration. For example, the first case here, Cl2. In this case, both Cl has seven valence electrons and they have the same electronegativity. So they will tend to share their electrons. So the bond pair is symbolized there between the two Cl and the lone pair is the double dot in each Cl atoms. So covalent bond can be either single bond double bond or triple bonds each line represent two electrons now let's learn how to show covalent bond the first step is to calculate the total valence electron tve and then you draw the lewis structure and make sure all atoms are octet or duplet let's go back to the first example cl2 so let's calculate the valence electron there are 7 valence electrons for each Cl atom and there are 2 Cl atoms here so you have 2 times 2 so you got 14 and then the total valence electron will be 14 electrons so we draw the draft Cl and Cl and we draw the bond between the Cl first and in, in that bond we, have, we already used 2 electrons so now we have 12 electrons left so we put all these electrons into both Cl atoms and then there you go we are done with the first structure here so again, that is the bond pair or the covalent bond and each double dot there is called the lone pair of electron. And let's check whether both Cl are octet. The first Cl atom here got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons. And the other Cl, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So both Cl atoms are octet. And let me just remind you again, this bond pair is actually the covalent bond of Cl2. Single covalent bond. Now let's check H2O. We got two hydrogen, one electron for each, so times two, and then one oxygen, six electrons. So total valence electron here is eight electrons. So we got HOH, O as the central atom. So we have used four electrons, so we have four left. So when we put these four electrons, we put it on oxygen because both hydrogen already duplet. So now we calculate oxygen here, got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's octet while hydrogen is duplet. So there you go, this is the structure of H2O. So the next example, NF3. So we calculate the TVE. So we got one nitrogen and three fluorine. Nitrogen got five valence electron, while fluorine each have seven electrons. So 21 plus five, so we got 26 total electrons. And then we draw the draft N as the central atom here. So we draw the bond and we got three pair so we already use six so we got 20 electrons left and we place them on fluorine and then there you go six electrons on each fluorine so you got 18 electrons each and then you got another two extra on nitrogen and let us check whether all these atoms are octet or not so the first one nitrogen one two three four five six seven eight octet and then fluorine one two three four five six seven eight octet one two three four five six seven eight octet and then one two three four five six seven eight octet so all atoms are octet so next case kita ada co2 so first step kita kira tve so carbon four electrons two oxygen think six times two 12 electrons so total ada 16 electron so kita buat dia punya rangka dulu c ada dua o di sana so buat dua bond so kita sudah guna four electron so baki ada 12 electron so we place them on oxygen so 12 so habis digunakan electron and then the problem is carbon is not octet yet even the oxygen sudah octet so apa kita buat kita padam satu sini dan kita buat double bond and then belum octet lagi so padam lagi satu double bond then now you have carbon 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 octet and oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 octet and the other one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 octet so all atoms are octet now a carbon is happy with two double bonds next compound nitrogen n2 so 2n maksudnya ada 2 so 5 electron times 2 
we got 10 electrons. So total valence electron is 10. So kita kira, okay, N, N. So kita buat rangka pertama, ada dua elektron sudah dipakai, so bagi 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So sudah habis, 8. Then belum lagi octet kan yang satu tu. Jadi apa kita buat? Kita padam. Okay. Then we do the double bond. But still, not octet yet. So kita padam lagi satu, buat lagi satu bond. Now it's become triple bond. So mari kita check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Octet, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, octet. So now, both nitrogen atoms are octet. So that means, N2 has triple bond to become stable. Triple covalent bond. Now let me tell you some interesting facts. Covalent bond not only exists in neutral compound or molecule, tapi ada juga dalam polyatomic ions. For example, CO3 to minus, NO3 minus, SO4 to minus. Let's check the first example, CO3 to minus. So, macam biasa, TVE dulu, carbon, 3 oxygen. So, ada charge, negative 2. Okay, now, carbon, ada 4 electrons. 3 oxygen means 6 times 3, so 18 electrons. Charge negative 2, kita kena buat tambah extra 2 electron. So, total valence electron in this case, akan jadi 24 electrons. Next, let's draw the Lewis structure. But first, central atom is carbon. So, C ada 3 O di sana. So, kita buat bond, bond, bond. So, kita sudah pakai 6 electrons. So, bagi ada 18 electrons, we place them on oxygen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, habis digunakan. So, tiada sudah elektron. Apa kita buat sekarang? Kita pun continue. The thing is, carbon is still not octet. So, apa kita buat? So, macam biasa, padam dulu. Dan kita buat double bond. Ini kita check. Adakah karbon sudah octet? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Octet. And all the other oxygens are also octet. So, tinggal buat apa? Tinggal buat bracket. So, dia adalah ion. Kita kena buat bracket and kita kita label charge dia 2 minus. So, next mari kita tengok nitrate ion. So, TVE, N, ada 5 elektron. 3 oxygen, so 6 times 3, 18 electrons. Charge negative 1, so tambah 1 electron. So total valence electron is 24. Now, kita pun start buat draft dia. N as the central atom by the way, so NO3. So 3 bond sudah dipakai, so ada 6 electron minus. So ada 18 electrons baki, so we place them on oxygen. And ternyata sudah dipakai semua, 18 electron. And let's check, adakah sudah octet? Okay, dia punya ni. All oxygen are octet, but... Nitrogen is not octet yet. So, apa kita buat? Macam biasa, kita padam satu. Pilih mana-mana oksigen ya. Padam and then buat double bond. Lepas tu kita check. Ternyata semua sudah octet. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Ya. All atoms are octet now. Let's try this. Draw the Lewis structure of NO2+. So, kita TVE, N ada 5 electrons, so 2 oxygen, so 6 times 2, 12 electrons. So, charge dia positif kan? So, kita kena tolak satu elektron. Okay, let me just remind you, kalau dia punya ion, negative charge, kita tambah elektron dekat TVE. Kalau positive charge, kita tolak elektron dekat TVE, based on berapa dia punya charge. So, in this case, TVE adalah 16 electrons. So, kita pun draw dia punya rangka dulu. N, ada 2 O. So, 2 bond sudah dipakai. So, minus 4 elektron. Ada baki 12. Kita letak dekat oksigen. And then, semua sudah dipakai. Kita check macam biasa. Adakah sudah octet? All oxygen are octet. But, macam biasa, nitrogen is still an octet yet. The central atom. So, apa kita buat? Macam biasa, kita copy balik. And then, kita padam satu lone pair. Dan kita jadikan dia bond. Dan padam lagi sebelah, jadikan dia bond. Baru kita nampak semua octet. Kita check nitrogen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, octet. Oxygen, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, octet. And also, satu lagi octet. So, all atoms are octet now. As yourself, draw the Lewis structure for NO2-. You may pause the video. And tara, this is the answer. So, remember to draw Lewis structure first. Total valence electron dulu, TVE. Check dia punya charge, positif atau negatif, ataupun neutral. And then baru kita draw and make sure semua octet. And check sama ada kita perlu buat double ataupun triple bond. So that's the end of part 2. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for part 3.